I look at our, uh, our NHS, and I think we're pretty good at solving acute problems. What we've been less good at is setting strategic direction and addressing longer-term problems. We already have a two-tier system. All we are doing is formalizing that and bringing an inconvenient truth to the attention of the public. But still, people are tired, people are working hard in A&Es. There, are, there is the risk that we run into difficulty over winter. But what I would plea is that we don't get into a position where, for various reasons, we manufacture a crisis before it actually happens. But the first question is, why do people, so many people go to A&E? They go because A&E is a safety net. It's a good place to go. You know you'll be seen in four hours. So clearly we need to offer a better alternative away from hospitals. We've divided our review into five different areas. The first is to address how we can provide uh, better care or, or, or enable people to care for themselves better in their own homes. The second uh, thing is that we've looked at how we can actually provide facilities, if you like, closer to people's homes. <coughs> And we focused in particular on uh, aspects of primary care. We believe that there should be access to primary care um, for urgent conditions every day of the week. We also believe that pharmacies are grossly underused. We've seen how, how much greater they're used in, in other parts of Europe for dealing with problems. Um, and we also think that paramedics who are highly respected individuals with enormous clinical expertise, who we trust when we're in desperate shape um, after an accident, and yet for the rest of the time we use them to transport patients rather than actually treat them. Wanker.